in at the three slot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Gilgis Alexander. And GA, this next team, kind of slim on the interior, don't you think? How can they be? Here's Jay. Last game out, he had 40 points. There's the lob to town. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how about the athleticism from Towns there, skying up with establishing an inside presence. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years. The kick out to Towns. Here's Jay. He'll just Alexander cover. Nailed from three-point land. Brooklyn's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Outside, Towns. Drills it from outside. Towns has got five now. And they had some trouble with this group a year ago. And it's a bit of a head scratcher as to why, given the way both teams ended the year. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Here's Jay. He'll just Alexander covers. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. RJ, we know almost all players will talk and plead their case to the refs. How much wiggle room? Says you have to have confidence that's borderline irrational. But a perspective that's very realistic. You've got to know who you are. Kevin, he adds that he's not attempting to be a Mount Rushmore type guy, but a talented player. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. That's it, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut to just one on the basket from Jay-Z. Look there. He's not going to miss that. And intriguing to see how the Nets have recovered since the departures of Harden, Kyrie, and Katie. Ginger, they had grand plans. It just didn't work out early on. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. The post pair form will be Williams and Hunter. Jay with the rebound. Jay's got it, got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That Just the way it happened. And you know it's serious if he's heading to the locker room. It takes a lot to get him out of any game. The season. And right now for Brooklyn, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. But it's something we expected. This team was built to compete with into the post that time. Brooklyn leading by five. It's Dort on the wing. Sinks the three-pointer. Dort's got a second bucket tonight. Still be on it. Short against Wiggins. Here's Jay running from the wing. 16 points. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. A chance here to get a quick injury report. And now an update on Shay Gilgis. That's to Jay. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. There's the drive. It's Thomas outside. Hits it from three-point range. Thomas got himself on the board with three. Looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far? There's 53 seconds left in the game. Four on the clock. Jay driving to the basket. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial. Second, separating the shot and game clocks. Over in the corner, Dort passes it to Jay. With the drive. Oh, wow! <laughs> that is powerful. They just blocked out the end, so it's Brooklyn with the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg. 